2 multiplied by what will give us 1? It will be 1 half. 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 will give us 1. And what multiplied by 6 will give us 1? 1 over 6. What are these two numbers called? Each of them is a reciprocal of the respective numbers. 1 half is the reciprocal of 2 and 1 over 6 is a reciprocal of 6. Does a matrix have a reciprocal? Let's say we have matrix A. In matrices, the identity matrix represents 1 or unity. So we can ask A multiplied by what will give us I or the identity matrix? Yes, what can we have here such that the product of these two matrices will give us the identity matrix? Instead of writing 1 over A, we write something called A inverse. Yes, this is the inverse of matrix A. A with negative 1 as the superscript. And A times A inverse will give us the identity matrix. And what multiplied by A will give us the identity matrix? Again, it's A inverse. A inverse times A will give us the identity matrix. This is the concept of an inverse of a matrix. Its product with A will give us the identity matrix. Let's look at an example on a new page. We are given matrix A. It's a 2 by 2 matrix. And for this matrix A, we are given A inverse. It equals this. Now we need to check if their product gives us the identity matrix. On the left side, we multiply A with A inverse. And on the right, we multiply A inverse with A. Remember that matrices are non-commutative. A times B may or may not equal B times A. We need to verify both these products. This is matrix A multiplied by A inverse. And this is A inverse multiplied by matrix A. We start off by finding the product on the left. What will be the 1 1 -th element? It will equal the product of the first row with the first column. 2 times 1 plus 1 times minus 1. 2 minus 1. For the 1 2 -th element, we multiply the first row with the second column. 2 times minus 1 plus 1 times 2. We get minus 2 plus 2. For the 2 1 -th element, we multiply the second row with the first column. 1 multiplied by 1 plus 1 multiplied by minus 1. That will give us 1 minus 1. And for the last element, we multiply the second row with the second column. 1 multiplied by minus 1 plus 1 multiplied by 2. Minus 1 plus 2. Now we just calculate the four elements. 2 minus 1 is 1. Minus 2 plus 2 gives us 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. And minus 1 plus 2 equals 1. Yes, we get an identity matrix. A times A inverse gives us the identity matrix. What about this product? Why don't you pause the video and find out what this product gives us? This is what we get. This is the first row multiplied with the first column. This is the first row multiplied by the second column. Second times first and second times second. What do we get after solving each? 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0 and minus 1 plus 2 is 1. Clearly an identity matrix again. Both products give us the identity matrix. Wait, hold on. Finding the reciprocals of numbers was easy. But how do we find the inverse of a matrix? We will cover that in the next few lessons.